hello guys welcome to my channel aura tricks and today i am going to show you uh, the custom authentication in oracle application express i have received lot, lots of lots of requests from the viewers uh, for the custom authentication in oracle apex now let us start that how we can execute in custom authentication into an oracle application express see whenever we are creating any application let's say for example if i create a sample application uh, let's say for example it's a demo del and here we always provides this uh, application express account right whenever we create this kind of application it utilizes the username and password of your workspace right but there are number of cases let's say for example here you need to provide your workspace admin and password is your workspace login password right okay then you are able to run this application now let's say for example if we want to implement a custom authentication let us start i'm going to uh, explain from table creation to data insertion to login modification let's say for example if i create a table name called as a ytc underscore login which i have already done go to sql workshop then this uh, youtube channel this uh, login login right okay in which i have provided login pk that is a primary key entity owner fk see uh, what i suggest is ke we should have only one table for all the type of users let's say for example if you are implementing a system in which there are uh, almost three to four different types of users right so you can have four different type of accounts for that let's say for example in this i have currently only an admin account okay so i have created this table in which admin pk is uh, primary key name and email id so i'm going to use this admin pk as this owner entity owner fk so whenever an admin is login so entity owner will be checked second field is entity fk this is also an foreign key so in which we need to create an entity type so again i have created ytc underscore entity type in which i have mentioned entity pk as a primary key and entity type as a where care in which let's see the data first one i have entity type is admin so if the entity pk is one so we can identify that, that particular user is admin and if there are entity pk is equals to two then it's a user other fields are username password and email id right so we have created a table like login pk entity owner fk and this and that we need to put a one constraint like entity owner fk and entity fk should be unique and the username should be unique okay next as i explained you we required a uh, entity type which we have already created entity pk the entity type and we need to provide a primary key constraint in this after this we need to add another constraint and we are referencing entity pk and we are creating a sequence also for both the tables now we need to create a package which contains two different functions for example i have created a package name Called as a ytc underscore pkg, in which I have defined login underscore redirect underscore function, which take username as a input and returns a where to. Second one is login validate function, which take username and password and it will return boolean true or false, and package end. So let me show you packages, then ytc. And this one hope it's uh, readable create or replace package package name as function first and function 
second now we have to create a package body so let me show you which i have already created see create or replace package body package name as function function name username as an input and returns where get to so we are returning a page id we can select decode we are decoding if the entity fk which we have utilized let me show you okay entity type if the entity fk this one is one this then we are going to redirect to a first page number 100 if the entity fk is equals to 2 then we are going to migrate them to another another page so ultimately this 100 will be an admin home page and 200 will be a user home page so whatever the navigations we need to provide we have to put on this tables only right so into v page id from login where okay we need to provide this instead of login we need to provide ytc underscore login where lower username is equal to lower u name and we are returning its page id when exception no data found then we are returning to fifth number then we are login under a function login validate function in which we are taking username and password as argument and we are returning boolean count one number i have defined count two number i am checking if p username is not null and password is not null then select one into count one from ytc login where username is equals to username and lower password is equals to password if it returns one then we are going to return it true means k user is valid and we are returning it false and exception when do found then it turns always false so 7 compile it's done again 7 compile oops just wait a minute i think it's loading this has a problem just a minute okay now it's done Okay, specification done. Now, the next thing that we required after executing our PLSQL package, we have to go to the shared component of your particular application. So, let's go to the application that was uh, just a minute, this one, and shared component. Here we need to change this one authentication schemes. So let me click on that. Here we have provided Oracle Application Express authentication. Now we have to change it. Okay. So click on that. Here you need to provide it as a custom. By default is this one Application Express account. And now we have to provide a custom. So as you can see that currently my schema name is Oratrix. So in Oratrix, I have a package name called as a YTC underscore package. So I'll be writing as you need to provide a function name over here. So first, Oratrix is your nothing but a schema name. Then YTC underscore package name is this one. And login validate function is your function name. This one, right? So after providing this, you need to click on apply changes, then go to your login page now. So we need to provide, we need to change certain things. Let's go to the application. Now we go to login page in which see you need to replace this code, login code. Here you might have different thing, but currently I have already implemented the things. So flow, whatever the content you have, just replace it with this content. www.v underscore flow custom authentication dot stdn dot login p underscore uname is equals to whatever you have currently this here. 
session id is equal to this and page flow id your uh, schema name plus your package name your function name and we are transferring username right so click on ok now save and try to run it now let's run with this by default account and it provides me certain error right so let me log in now to my account see it's showing that 100 is not found why it's showing this error because i have mentioned in my package that if the user is one then that user must be transmitted to page number 100 right so ultimately our package is working but as my this application doesn't have page number 100 as you can see right so either we can change let's uh, say for example i have already created a 200 page so you can go to your this and change to 200 and let me change it to 100 if the user is 1 means k its user fk is 1 then he should be redirected to 200 page let me save and compile again so let's try it again and now you are migrating right so now it's working as you can see that in my table i have already entered a data uh, ytc underscore login data I have already created one okay so that's why we are migrating to that particular table now if you're going to our login page and if I run it if I provide the username and password then see I'm migrating to a my 200 page which I have mentioned in my package right so if you still if you have any doubt while implementing this thing just comment me i'll be try to update this right so subscribe this channel some new videos i'll be posting okay so thank you so much